During my 20s, I spent a lot of time designing graphic user interfaces. You know, what you're seeing right now is a graphic user interface. Not the video, but the app in which you're in. So here's the thing, I needed a way to convey my ideas in a way that the programmers and the coders understood. I need to speak their language. So during my spare time, I studied PHP. This is a programming language and JavaScript, another programming language. While I didn't use these skills for my own life, at least it gave me the fundamentals for me to speak in a language that my coworkers could understand. Technically, I failed to make a living programming. I never found a way to monetize it, but I still have a clear understanding on, on how to read code and how to talk to a programmer in a way that they can understand me. This has helped me scale my business because I can, I can talk with different programmers and ask them for different stuff for my own business in a way that they can understand. So in short, I failed forward. I learned a skill that even though didn't make me money or that I don't even practice today in age, I still possess the fundamentals here inside my brain. And I can use that information to speak with people in a language that they can understand and also ask for stuff that is based in reality. So this is what I call fail forward. Failing forward means setting yourself in the path where even if you fail, you still end up in a better place. You still end up being better just because you tried something new that can help you throughout your career. So you're not actually failing. You didn't actually fail. You fail forward because you can use these ideas, these new skills that you learn that even though you don't use that much to progress and never stay stagnant. So every time that you choose something to learn, make sure that there are many, many ways for you to use that skill outside of the goal that you're setting. So that way, even upon failure, you can find the benefit of that skill inside your life.